Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here. Um, sorry for the late recording. Um, it was a busy week for me, so no time to do any sort of extra stuff for like to record or to edit or to anything. So um, I'm back. Let's see if we can get into a quick match and just see what happens. Um, just to get let you, let you guys know, um, I did try to purchase some some better equipment to stream off of. Uh, unfortunately, with the phone I have, uh, outputting to HDMI is next to pretty much impossible. So whatever I had gotten had to go back and this will be the way I record from now on, at least as I'm on my phone. Uh, if stuff changes in the future, and I hope it does, just to, like I said, get better, give you guys better quality recordings, um, then Cool, thumbs up. But for now, you know, we'll just make do with what we have. Uh, because you know what? At the end of the day, as long as you, or anyone starting out, as long as you try, then I think that's the important thing, as opposed to making it super duper quality. Um, the reason I would want to do that is just for my own, you know, better myself sort of thing. So, let's go! There's something I wanted to do for a while, I was just... You know how you guys... how you guys know I like the UMP-9 uh, as a weapon. I've been actually been picking it a lot more than most assault rifles, really. Um, most of my loadout has been sort of submachine gun sniper usually resulting in like a UMP9 and a Mini-14. I think that's sort of like the sweet spot. Um, but one, one of the things that I do like about the UMP, as you may have heard from other videos that I've gone on about, is the fact that it's just so versatile. So like, I mean, scopes, uh, you can pretty much put anything on it except for an 8x. But really, why would you want to put an 8x on the UMP9. Uh, six times is about as high as it can go and really that's, you know, if you want to see people off in a distance, that's that's what you need. The usual sweet spot for me is two times or three times. Uh, if scopes are being uh, difficult to find, normal red dot is suitable. Um, but yeah, it takes all the muzzles. Usually go compensator or Suppressor, if I want to stay silent. Uh, May, quick draw extended, without a doubt. Um, reload quickly and get yourself a 40 bullet magazine. Because, hey, why not? Uh, and takes all the grips. Um, I personally like the half grip. Uh, it's suitable for full auto situations, which this gun is. Like, I mean, I'm never putting this down to burst or single fire. Uh, and then the next on my list would be like the vertical foregrip. Uh, it's a the nice uh, counterbalance, and I don't think it has much muzzle rise anyway, so it's not like you need to be controlling it all that much. The one thing I definitely do not like is the light grip. Uh, you definitely get a lot of you get more negatives than positives with the half grip or with the light grip, so. I sort of tend to leave it regardless of what gun it's on. Uh, thumb grip is nice for just aiming down sights. Um, but no, for me, usually half grip first, vertif vertical if I can't find a half grip, and then thumb grip if, if the other two options aren't there. But yeah, that's the UMP9. Uh, I only have the rugged beige from last season's um, what do you call it? Last season's RP the Royal Pass uh, would definitely like some other skins for it since it's the gun I use more often than not not sure how I feel about the orange orange makes everything look like a like a nerf gun this I kind of like Definitely more, need more skins for the UMP-9. Anyway, let's see if we can get into a game and see what happens. 
All right, rolling over Sandhawk, and let's see what we can do here. Got the plane. Got full level on RP, so now I'm max level. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for this game. Uh, I would like to try an ump only game, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I would also like to try and see if we can get that far, but we may have to uh, divert and go to. Well, first I'll tato right out of the plane, uh, but we'll try campoing, and if we can't get there, Lakwi as an alternative. Should get pretty close, if not. Oh, got someone right in front of me. And someone's already got a numb kill. Yeah, he's falling there. Um, is it too late to divert? Get that little village first. Oh, the zones come in and I gotta go all the way back north. So I guess it's a good thing that I'm not uh, dropping that far south. All right, let's see if we can get lucky. Um, oh, helmet was also, if I was gonna do the ump challenge, I should have turned my auto loot off, but we'll see for now it's, oh, all right, there we go. Ump challenge is on. Get the red dot on there as well. I can use it better than holographic. All right. And then all we're going to do is kit out the UMP. Ooh. Nope. Don't want the vector. I do want the two times though. Forgot the nine mil. Let's go. So all I want to do is get. No, no, <laughs> not the AK. This is why I wanted to turn auto looting off. If I find myself a second ump, then I can just equip that. I have one for sort of more close range and have one for more long range. Although the UMP or any submachine gun is not built for fighting at a distance, uh, which is why I'm going back to Sandhawk. Um, been playing a lot of, you know, no, don't want the QBZ. <laughs> don't want the AKM. Uh, I've been playing Sandhawk because, uh, or I'm playing Sandhawk because I've been doing a lot of matches within Erangel just to get missions completed. Uh, and when playing with friends. So it was getting a little bit lonely for the jungle again. And truthfully, if I'm going submachine guns, then I don't want to be fighting from range. Um, Sandhawk is good for up close encounters, so shoot, I gotta go. The zone is coming in and what suppress our snipers. I'll take the four times and drinks. And any health? Ooh, three times. Three times will go good too.
picking all this stuff up for an assault rifle and I'm not even going to use it. Level 3 helmet, that's always good. Alright, let's, let's go to that instead. Oops. Put the three times on there for now. Still haven't come across anybody. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to have to take a look at the tape again on that one. I have no idea what just happened. It seemed like he materialized out of thin air. Not that my ping is bad at all, but wow. <laughs> it's like running across the street and it's like, oh, here's someone to shoot. Hearing anything is making me a little nervous as well. That was... There we go. Alright, so... At least I don't have to worry about... So I can drop all the stuff I don't need. Try and load up in as much 9mm as I can. Whoop. Zone, 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 zone. Just picking up the pistols for the extra ammo. We'll need to get more attachments for the second UMP, but for now, I just slap the six times on there in case I want to go range. And for that one, we'll go burst fire. Nope, no extended yet. So we'll see. Oh, plane. The plane, the plane. What are you going to drop? I know it was a northern plane path, so it's probably why it's going north. Everyone sort of jumped there. Normal crate, direct ahead. But I'm sure other people are thinking the same thing. Nope, vehicle. Vehicle in the distance in there. They are going for that drop, I'm sure. As hell I would. Why not? Hit this house while we still got some time before the zone gets in. Catches up. Nothing I need.
it's been a while since I've played Sandhawk, so I'm still a little nervous by the buildings. Tight quarters, tall grass. Uh, but as mentioned before in other videos, it's been kind of fun to play. There we go. Don't have any decent foregrips yet. Complex doesn't look like it's been hit yet, but. And again, nervous for what may be coming behind me. Is that door? It is open. Another compensator. Always got to check these little rooms just to make sure no one's sort of hiding in them. Because I would hide in them. I would totally hide. And another 400 meters until our next. Hit this little house as well. Down to 24 alive, including myself. And all I had was the one mystery materializing opponent. Uh, one plane path, uh, one plane after another can only mean good things, which means someone shot off a flare. For now, let's see if we can just keep cover. I think that's sort of important for whatever game you you play. Just keep as much cover as you can. Still no foregrips. Still no no decent foregrips. I do have an angled, but there's somebody. Nope, oh, come on. Had a flare gun, but no flare, which is fine. Wasn't looking to shoot one off anyway. Do want to get in the zone though? Get me to pick the grenade. And also, I'm looking nervous. Got two complexes here. Big building is not in, but let's see if we can get anything useful out of it before zone. And the answer is no. All right, let's. Don't need two of those. About 300 ammo. 
300 of 9 millimeter. Someone's off in paradise, and I don't, don't have to go too far. So where do I want to establish myself? Ugh, decisions, decisions. Yeah, let's keep moving to center zone and hopefully have decent cover while doing it. Now the cool thing is that you can actually equip a 6x scope on an UMP. It's not really built for long distance, but... That's why I always prefer a 3x. It's sort of like nice middle ground. It's still snappy when aiming down sights. Here comes the zone. I said I was going to go center, but as you can see, I'm still a little nervous. Especially when you got open fields like that coming out. Also, see what the zone does once it converges. So, for now, just try and keep an eye on things. At least here I have a little bit of high ground. And with the zone behind me, I know no one's really sort of sneaking up. Still get most of the action down that way. Stop pushing me, Blue. Stop pushing me. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't rotate that way. The unfortunate thing is I got that complex and then a bunch of nothing in the center, so... Someone is shooting off a silencer, silenced sniper. And it would seem that he would be the biggest threat, even though there's a lot popping off down this way. Uh, so we'll do... Should boost up as well. Uh, cancel that. Go syringe. Get it all done in one shot. Sounds like they're up the hill. Got someone. Bone that up.
And sure enough, there it is, right out in the middle of nothing. Yikes. Down to six though, and zone's coming in hot. Imagine there's going to be a lot of sneakers in here. I also got to remember, smokes and stuns are fine, but I'm not going to be making any kills with frag grenades. Got to check my sixes. I should be in the zone with this rock. that way with the QBZ. Herm. Got some snipers off in the distance too. Ay, ay, ay. Down my two drinks. Zone's pushing now. Still not in. Crap. Whoa. Yep, behind me, behind. And there it is. <laughs> well, revenge is a de is a dish best served cold, I suppose. Well, UMP challenge number one. Not quite what I wanted. Let's see the score. Three kills. Oh, two kills. Two kills, fourth place. Yeah, if I caught that guy on the other, on that uh, ridge that I saw, that would have been nice too, but yeah. Do not like open spaces like that, especially when your opponents are snaking in the grass. Yeah, what can you do, right? Anyway, this has been Chin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and thanks, and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.